Sa gitna ng nagpapatuloy na gyera sa pagitan ng Israel at Hamas, ano nga ba ang epekto nito sa Pilipinas? Para pag-usapan niya, nakasalang sa balita ko ang CEO at Managing Director ng Think Tank na Strathbase at isa ring Geopolitical Analyst, Professor Dindo Manhit. Professor, magandang umaga po. Welcome sa balita ko. Magandang umaga, Ivan. Magandang umaga, Connie. Magandang umaga sa inyong mga tagapagini. Professor, uh, ang nagkaguluhan po nangyayari, half a world away, ika nga. Pero ito, di, tayo dito sa Pilipinas, maordinaryong Pilipino, may dahilan ho ba para mag-alala sa magiging epekto ng gerang ito sa atin? Sa panahon ngayon, wala pa in terms of direct impact. Mm-hmm. Ang impact na posibleng mangyari, of course, ay ating mga kapapayan. Naan doon, as overseas Filipino workers, they will be affected kita nila sa kay mga padala nila mm-hmm. pati the broader sense also of course any conflict in the Middle East mari may apekto rin sa supply of oil that we are an importer a big importer so makatamaan tayo on that but sana mukha namang may uh, intervention sa iba't ibang bansa na mm-hmm. wag lumala pa ito in terms of it affects the whole Middle East so okay. You're saying, Professor, hanggat hindi ho nagsuspill over itong conflict sa mga major oil-producing countries, hindi ho tayo dapat magalala. alala Yun ang aking uh, pananaw dito. Kaya maganda na tuloy pa rin yung pag-host ng Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with, with ASEAN delegations. Maganda rin yung mga attempts by Western leaders to talk to uh, leaders within the Middle East na talagang ilimita itong conflict na ito between, the, between Palestine in terms of t- terrorists like Hamas saka ang Israel Defense Forces. And I think they're even allowing Egypt to to help out yung mga refugees. So parang nililimit o kinocontrol mm-hmm. yung conflict na ito to that area. Okay. Professor, uh, kung sakali mang hong uh, lumala pa ito at sana wag naman, ano, ano hong ang dapat na ginagawa na ng ating pamahalaan para maka, kumbaga, magkaroon po tayo ng uh, mas uh, matibay po na ekonomiya? Of course, ang epekto lang naman sa atin ay yung issue nga ng dalawang bagay. There is source of oil, which is very important to our economy. At ikalawa ay yung presence of OFWs na hindi lamang sa Israel yan, but also datawid sa different Middle East countries. So, there should be uh, initiatives now uh, by government to how can we address tong possible supply challenges mm-hmm. of oil sa atin sa so, at tayo makikipag-usap. Kasi kalawa naman, on the part of our OFWs, how do we secure them? And of course, uh, any problem with security of overseas Filipino workers or they forced to be repatriated it affects also strong part of our economy, which is yung remittances. Yes. So, dapat pagtingnan natin at paghandaan paano ma-address to. But ako naniniwala naman ako na given the presence of a lot of interventions to really limit the conflict between, not even with the Palestinian people, but with with Hamas, the terrorist group against the Israel Defense Forces, eh, hindi ito lalala. Ano pong aral ang makukuha ng Pilipinas sa gulong ito bilang isa rin pong uh, bansa tayo na may kinakaharap ding issue sa teritoryo? Dapat klaro talaga na ang pinapakita naman dito ng Israel, di ba, uh, something that we should learn from also is how they stand up for their people. Of course, people would say that may overreaction naman ng Israel with regards to the Palestinian area, the West Bank. Mm-hmm. But sa atin, it's important how uh, the culture, the thinking, the strategic thought with regards to how do you protect your territory, your national interest. No? Mm-hmm. And that's what we are seeing now from our own government. I was just listening to the previous news, about how our Secretary of Defense is making a strong stance against China. Mm-hmm. These are the things that we need. And maybe with statements comes actions also. Marami pong, that, uh, okay. Marami pong salamat sa inyo pong binigay sa aming uh, oras. Professor Dindo Manhit ng Stratbase. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Balita ko, may tututukan kayo tuwing 10.30 a.m. sa GTV. Alamin ang mahahalagang balita at impormasyong dapat niyong malaman sa balita ko tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes. Mag-subscribe din sa GMA Integrated News sa YouTube.